Hello, I am Mia Moore here at Unicorn Divine LLC, and I'm here to do a um, what do you need to know about your children reading. This could also resonate with you uh, about your inner child. So let's go ahead and start with my prayer. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my ancestors for protection as I go within the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. Okay, so right off the bat, let's get started. Oh, okay. False person. Somebody has a false person around their energy. This false person could even be one of your friend's children or your children's friend. This could also be a family member in your family or your significant other's family that don't truly like your child, but they talk to your child to manipulate them to get information about your marriage or life all together. Okay. Yep. Sudden wealth and toil and labor in reverse. It came out together. So... Somebody has been putting in a lot of work to manipulate a situation to get some money, but it's not going in this false person's favor. So this person is getting angry, wealthy man. Somebody's child is going to If you have a son, this son is going to have a lot of children. But this man or this child that is not a man yet, his father is already a wealthy man. This son is going to follow in this man's footsteps. Okay, this man could have a lot of children. Because this hat in this man's uh, hand, it reminds me of the um, um, temptations. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home courthouse somebody is in spiritual court about something or they're actually going to physical court about a situation regarding children and I've already said once before that you can be a feminine energy and you are in your masculine energy which makes you a wealthy man <clears throat> okay concern there's a concern here. Somebody here has a wooded dining room table set. Somebody could also have stained glass windows. Somebody here could be a master number 33. Somebody could have an 11-year-old or born in the 11th month. Somebody could be born on the 13th as well, or you could be 13 years old. You could have a 13-year-old. Somebody here also has an 8-year-old. Somebody could be a Leo as well, a Scorpio. You could also have a Gemini child, three through three was on the clock. But somebody is going to have to make a decision about something or someone because there is a concern here. There was a plot against great fortune. There was a plot against somebody's sudden wealth or wealth altogether. This person was plotting to get sudden wealth. So this could be a wealthy man that entertained a lover and ended up being strung along by a child that was not his. Bad help on the bottom of the deck. Somebody, child, could be... Um, a bit bipolar. Somebody also could have a sick child, meaning like this child, um, it takes a lot to take care of this child. Like ADHD, um, schizophrenic, and courthouse, okay, courthouse right back out. Despair, distant horizon, courtship. 
Somebody could be 32 years old. Somebody could be 23 years old. Message. Somebody is going to see a message in someone's phone that is going to lead to court. This is going to be ev evidence against someone. Somebody could be four years old as well. Somebody's child, though, is in despair because of their fortune. They feel like that they should be further along. This could be a teenager, someone that's finally hitting the age of 21. I mean, I said 21, I, okay, well, but I meant um, 18 or their teenage years altogether. Yep, somebody's child has psychic abilities. They are very intuitive, okay? So that's why this child is going to bring you great fortune. Family. So something is significant to someone's family. Somebody is hiding some family secrets. New beginnings. Somebody's child is about to start a new beginning. Life purpose. Somebody's child could be finally taking up like some courses. Like if a child wants to do real, real estate, they're going to go for that. They could go for CNA. They could be a travel nurse, a travel cosmetologist. Somebody could also want to be a, um, a truck driver. They want to get their CDL license. Somebody also could want to take care of animals or um, have a, a business that um, deals with animals. Somebody needs an animal support, a dog or cat or anything of that sort, family, right back out. Something is significant to the new moon on the 30th or the last moon that just came because th these are different phases of the moon in every card. This is a full moon, a half moon, and this is definitely a different type of moon. So something is significant to the moon phases in someone's family dynamic, spirit guides. So many spirit guides have been watching something for so long and that's why things are going to be moving forward. Someone's child could be a spirit guide, like this child is no longer here on earth with you. Somebody also has a child that connects with their ancestors. They also have a um, imaginary friend, but this friend is not an imaginary friend. They're very much real. They travel with you guys in your car. They go to your family member's house as well with you. It could even be a um, like an entity that's following. Oh, love, psychic abilities. Somebody, family, somebody could have a family of psychics. Like, this is just not one person. They all have this gift, but not all people operate in love. Somebody wants to. Somebody's child wants to feel love unconditionally. They don't want to feel loved at um, your convenience. They want to be able to trust that you're not manipulating them or they're not being manipulated. Somebody's child is... a high rank being. You see how this crown is glowing?
someone's child is missing the love of their mother or father. So if you're going through a separation, um, uh, you could be Mexican or Puerto Rican. Because I, I hear, I miss me papa. Lighten your load in reverse. So this child is feeling overburdened with this separation within the family. Like, this child has already gotten clarity or they already feel intuitively about some stuff that's coming or going to come out. Because like I said, in this concern card, the light is shining on this man. Somebody could be finding out that their father is not their real father or their mother is not their real mother. Okay. Okay. So it's a lot that needs to come out. Reconciliation. Somebody is going to be reconciling from a family member of your past. And this is going to bring the clarity that you have been seeking. This is going to aid in the new beginnings that you are or your spirit guides are trying to get you to see to clarify financial health is here somebody is going to leave somebody a massive amount of money in their will answers truth so somebody is going to get the answers the truth and the clarity from this situation even if it has you like this, hang on. Because it's going to lead you to your life purpose. Okay? Five of Swords. So somebody's child is um, or has made an unwise choice. It says, learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. So there's a child that is reviewing everyone's motives in the family. They don't trust many of the people in their family. That's why they are in despair. They don't have anybody to talk to, to vent to, to comfort them. Mm. Somebody's child doesn't feel loved. This could be a teenager at that. I feel like a teenager is, is just saying they can't take this anymore. Whatever that means for you. This don't even have to be a teenager. Mind you, everybody have a child. No matter how old you are, you can be in your 50s and your child is your child, right? The high priestess. Yes. So somebody is very intuitive here. It says, listen to your intu intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So, oh, okay. Somebody's child wants to come out to them. Somebody's child likes the same sex. Skilled work. Oh, excuse me. Eight of Pentacles. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school. So somebody's child is going to be going to summer school, or there's just going to have a lot of summer activities. Somebody's child can also um, be learning to braid or know how to braid. Or this could be a young guy and he's learning to cut hair. Or he's starting off by cutting grass or making his own money some type of way. Yep. King of air. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. And it says, speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So somebody's child is wanting to speak to a professional. They are wanting to be heard. They are wanting to be understood. Somebody is ready to speak their mind with confidence.
Somebody's child could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this could be your um, sign. Somebody could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or these could be your sign. Somebody's favorite color is purple. Somebody's favorite color is blue. Okay, it's too many cards. Somebody's child has joined a gang as well. This gang is a part of their family. Somebody is being initiated. I don't even know if I said that. Oh, unity. Oh my fucking God. This could be a secret society. Yeah. Traditional viewpoints or methods. Spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So somebody here has sought after like-minded friends. So if your child see you into some type of activities like spell work, drugs, um, alcohol, things of that sort, gossiping, um, holding around, they're following behind someone's footsteps. They're also doing the same thing. They're joining groups and friends that drink heavily, do drugs, party, sell their self. Somebody is raising a narcissistic female. Sorry. I just, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, strength. Somebody could be a Leo. Oh, and it reads, great inner strength, release harsh judgment, forgiveness, and compassion. So somebody is needing to forgive or, yeah, forgive yourself and your child because you didn't necessarily... see this coming. You didn't necessarily raise this person like this, but somebody is growing, um, what do you call it? Becoming a part of their environment. I don't know exactly the slogan, but that's what I'm going to say. Somebody here could be 11 years old. I think I said that already, but 11 is here. Two is here, so you could have a two-year-old. Mm. Queen of Air. Right back out. You see, somebody is doing a lot of divination work. Probably even group work towards your children to have them and you like this. Somebody even send things to your animals. But somebody is definitely clearing away all that no longer serves them. They're seeing the humor in a situation. Somebody's um, daughter is messy. Excuse me. Or your son. He could be in his feminine energy. Somebody is very independent, experienced, and realistic in this situation. Okay, so somebody here could be, I already said, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So maybe you and your mate is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or you and your child is both a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I can't help but to see... Uh, see that this sign says not hiring. So somebody is um, having a hard time finding a job or will be. Six of Pentacles. And it reads. Gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debt. So a lot of you are going to be paying back a lot of debt. And your children is going to start gifting you in ways 
that you're going to be like, where are you getting out all this extra money from? But this child is just a jack of all trades, okay? Even family is going to gift you. Oh, I didn't see that under all these cards. Expectation, gift. As soon as I move the family card. So this family is going to gift you. Or they see you as a gift to this family. Somebody expects something from you or somebody expects too much from you. You know, ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from addiction. Okay, so somebody's child is recovering from an addiction. Somebody's child is ooh, an alcoholic. This child could be 17 years old or younger. The Emperor Archangel Michael in reverse? Came out reverse? Okay, it says organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So it's in reverse. So somebody's child is being a follower. Maybe, okay, daddy wasn't there. So somebody's daddy is not there. Or wasn't there. But if Archangel Michael is in reverse, that means this powerful Archangel is not in agreement to something that's going on. Somebody don't have no spiritual protection because Archangel Michael is uh, the most powerful Archangel there is to fight against all types of things, including family um, conflict within your spiritual house. I'll say that. Let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. Message. I already said that somebody was going to be getting a message. Lost compass. So somebody has lost the track of time. But they're, they're going to be getting back to integrity, or you are. I've already said there's going to be a reconciliation from people of your past and within your family. So let's go ahead and get these names. These could be your names or theirs. I like to put my box right here so y'all can see that I'm going to be saving these names. When I watch these readings back, I'll be so appalled sometimes. Get these names. Mills. Somebody also has a spirit baby that's coming, and I cannot tell you the gender. I don't know. Maccabee. Zaire. Leisha. Nolan. I'm dead. Melvin. Danielle. Ruby, Jocelyn, Eddie, 
Corey, Ava, Quadir, Wilson, Erica, Lorenzo, Patrick, Harden, Oates, Angelo, Kelvin, Esther, Toya, Christy, Sylvia, Dickerson, Michelle, Anastasia, Travis, Epps, Rita, Cole, Quincy, Ernest, Huffman, RIP friend, Ernest, did I say that? Olivia, Tommy, Jada, Curry, Israel, Eve, Marvin, Demetrius, China, Emery, Keandra, Spencer, Lowe, Joe, Tatiana. Okay, interesting. I can Tia, Bailey, uh -huh. Cole. Now, cuz, <clears throat> if you watch it, you better not have no more babies. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Now, who am I to speak against God? Like, for real. Oh, darling. Web. Vita or Vet. Foster. Monique. Nita. Darlene again? I didn't even know I had that name twice. What's she trying to tell me? Tyler. Watts. Vera. Kirby. Daisy. Vivian. India. Monet. Wait, did that say Monet? Yeah, Monet. O'Brien. Brooks. Broom. Tiffany. Did I say that? Washington. Matlock. Sutton, Barnes, Flora. Mm, okay, interesting. Claire, Lloyd, Genesis, Amir, Renee, Ronnell. Janae, Veronica, did I say Mims, Ida, Deanne, Edwards. This is the end of the message. Thank you for watching.